What's up everybody? Viper here, back in Miss Survival. And we're on day seven of our little challenge here. And I need to get rid of this mess here. It's just, uh... Just too unsightly. I need to get rid of it. So we're gonna have to build a, uh... Where's it at? This one? Yeah. So we're just gonna put a little trash can over here. And I need some wood. What else do I need? Four of those and uh, four of those. Ooh. Damn, I would have took all my crap over to the other side. My guts are almost done. 97%. So they'll be done in an hour or two. Hopefully by the time I finish this. So let's go find some uh, scrap and components. Which I'm just going to have to go down the hill and probably break up a couple of those cars real quick. To get those. Mm, there's my spear. I lost that a while back. Uh-oh. Looks like Kate had a visitor over here. Looks like he didn't stay too long. I mean, she might have bored him to death or something. I'm going to go over here and break up these cars. I don't even know if I'm going to get uh, components out of these guys. I need four components and four scrap. We do have a car right over there, too. Nice. Two components. And a couple scrap. Ooh. All right, a couple scrap and components. Let's go grab this car over here as well. Oh, never mind. That one's not breakable. Uh huh. Yeah, we need to get a little bit of water anyway. Or do our little daily routine of getting some fresh water. if I can break this car. No. Ooh, some tape. I don't got enough scrap. It's like every time I load in the game, my uh, my vehicles get in a different position. Maybe one type, one day they'll actually be on the ground. It's kind of a pain. If I want to get them down, I'm gonna have to use a uh, probably a ladder wall and a carjack device to get them down. Kind of annoying. This game's going to make me go all the way to road just to get some components. It probably would have just been faster for me to go, you know, up to the gas station and get some of the components I left up there. Alright, I got our four scrap and four components. All right, we're coming back up on our base. Finish up our little, uh, 
Watch call it. Is this done yet? Damn, they're still not done. 99.97. Hopefully by the time I clean up this crap. Oh, I need to move this thing closer. This ain't gonna cut it. Alright, let's just put this here for now. Get rid of these chicken... Look, these chicken legs are actually pretty good. Let me drop some crap. I need to build me a cooking pot at some point, just so I can render this fat. I don't want to get rid of this. But I do want to stack it nice. Alright, whatever. We'll just have a whole bunch of fat over here. Just be careful if you're walking over here, you might slip. Hopefully it won't attract the bear. Is that him over there? No. Alright, so we've cleaned up our area. Let's see if our damn guts are dry yet. So we can take them over there and get a... 90... Oh, come on. What do I need to build a little chair? Nice. Put this in our little nice cage over here. Find me a little hammer. Damn it, get in there. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take a little... Uh, rest a few minutes. There we go. That way we can, you know, just look at the countryside. Alright, it's dry. Alright, now we got our guts. All we gotta do is make our little happy butt over to the, uh, what do I need to get rid of? Yeah, I think I'll bring a hammer over there. But I'm going to leave these nails here. Probably these boards, too. Alright, I'm going to head over to the gas station so we can work on our bow. And I'll bring you back in a second. Alright, we're finally coming up on our little uh, gas station grab our stuff out of our workbench that we put in here and we're gonna go ahead and make the longbow now I never I don't never even bother to make the basic bow because it's by the time you get the guts dry you have like seven days six days and some change to uh, upgrade your workbench to level two so you have you should have plenty of time um, to not even bother making the uh, basic bow because you can see it's just four more sticks and of course whatever it took to upgrade this so uh there's no point plus like the basic bow and the long bow if you uh there's not much difference but if you if you use a basic bow and hunting arrows if you hit them in the finger with the basic bow it won't kill them but in the long bow it will kill them if you hit them in like the toe or whatever like the extremities but the basic bow it won't kill him if you hit him in the extremities. So I just I always go with the long bow. I don't even bother with the damn basic bow. Did I close my fence? Yep. Front one closed. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and make our long bow. And now we are golden. Let's see what else crap can I leave here? More feathers. I did go back and grab some food. 
Because we're probably going to be, uh, we might be stuck out. Let's leave, let's take a stack of 16 with us, just in case we have to make more arrows. And then let's leave our, our hammer in one of these boxes. And I think we're good. Now we're going to head our make our way over to the uh probably the White House area. And then we're going to go up and hit up that bandit camp. Might as well put my stuff where I need it. I need my bow here. I'll put my shotgun there. Knife there. Ooh. Now we're now we're golden right now. We got our bow, we got some hunting arrows. Looks like the tank came through here and turned over a bunch of cars and stuff. Now we might end up getting a uh, a mist when I go up to this uh, this camp, but we'll have to see what happens. And there's really not going to be much in here that I'm going to collect. Maybe a couple of arrows and some seeds, but I'll probably rescue the hostage as well. But other than that, I don't need the tires or any of that mess. I do need to make sure I have full stamina just in case I need to run. It has been a while since I've used the bow in this game, like over a month, so I might be a little bit rusty. Good old White House. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go up here and take out these little dudes up here, hopefully. I don't know if we'll have the mist or not, but we'll see. Now, I could use the shield, um, you know, just hold it up with these snipers, but I really don't like to use it. Um, if, you, if they're giving you problems, definitely use it, but. You can just easily uh, keep out of the sniper's view by using the trees. Except right here, you can't do that. There, shit. Don't start shooting me. Alright, so I'm going to have to go this way. And then we're going to have to cross the road. Just do a little jumping. Damn, where's the sniper at today? Alright, there's a good in the front. If I had my house at the White House, there'd be two or three dudes that would come out this road, but since it's where it's, you know, over there by the, uh, uh, that bear spawn, then they'll probably go out one of the other roads. And I'm just not sure which one. There he is. So I'm just going to go wait and go from tree to tree and get close enough, and I'm going to take out that dude right there. I mean, I'm probably close enough, but I'd rather make sure I actually hit him. It has been a little bit of time since I actually used uh, my bow, so I might be a little bit out of practice. I'm 
Alright, peekaboo dude, I see you. And it just takes a little bit of patience to make sure, you know, because the sniper's eventually going to walk around the corner. And then I'm basically just going to get to the base of the tower and get up inside it. Alright, so we should be good. We'll go ahead and get up here. And then the, these other two snipers aren't going to see you from over here. I definitely just lost an arrow on that one. Got him in the wobbly bits, though. Alright, we got one there, one over there, one sniper, a sniper over there. There should be a guy roaming in front over here. And then two over there three over there really. Let's grab this dude. There's a guy roaming in front and there'll be three guys inside the house. And I almost always go the same way when I when I take out these camps. I have myself a little system. What happened to this guy? Ooh, some salt. I need that. Grab my arrow from this guy. This guy shouldn't see me. Yes. I got me a carrot. I like me some carrots. Good. Go good with some Thanksgiving dinner. Now, I'm not sure exactly where those, uh, those walker, you know, the guys that walked off went. If I had the compass quest done, I would be able to tell, but when it has that little base thing up. Alright. Now I'm going to take this guy out, but there's a guy that comes through here over on the other side of that little truck. So I kind of want to wait till he comes through and goes away so I can uh, pick up my arrow. So he'll turn around and walk off. That's where I can get him. And then I can just come up. Oop. Oh, some broccoli. Give me my arrow. Alright, let's get out of here. Is there anything in here? No, nothing. Alright, let's we'll hop over the fence. We're going to go on top of uh, this sniper tower here. And we're going to grab this sniper. Oh, nice. He dropped a hunting rifle. It's broken, but hey, it's better than nothing. And then we'll grab this guy right here. It's kind of weird, the, the color changes right there. Alright, that's three. So now we got one dude in the front, a sniper, three guys in the, in the inside the house. I would like some variations to this at some point, where it's not always the same. Um, 
just so it's a little bit more of a challenge. Because right now it's it's pretty much the same. Once you once you take out these camps, um, especially enough times, you're gonna know exactly how these guys act and where they're going and what they're doing with some more broccoli. Hey. Give me my arrow. Alright, where's that one dude? Should be able to get this arrow from this guy. Oh, he dropped an M4. Oh, there he is. Here he comes. Oh, he don't see me. Peekaboo. I'd like to get this sniper out of the way before I hit the house. So I'm going to grab this dude, and then we'll be almost done. And hopefully I don't miss this guy like I did that one. Oh, give me my arrow. Hey. There we go. Got it. Sometimes the guys are just a pain to get to get your arrows back. And those arrows are valuable. We did lose that one when we shot it. Um, you know, miss that one sniper, but hopefully we'll be able to get two of them inside the, uh, the house. Alright, let's go try to draw out these guys inside. I don't know if they're going to cooperate today. Whoops, come on. What am I doing? One. Two. Alright, where's the third? I kinda got distracted when I when I pulled out the wrong weapon. I just saw him on the top floor. Be nice if you could shoot through the windows. Looks like we're going to have to go up and get him. Yeah, he's not one to come down. Right, might as well grab our arrows. Ooh, I got him in the got him in the elbow candy bar. Probably a little stale, we ain't gonna eat that. Ooh, an apple. Sometimes it can be a pain to get this guy right here. Oh, you go back there in that little roomy, huh? 
Gotcha. Alright, we got some shotgun shells. A bandage. Now, if I leave this, this camp and then come back, those uh, those roaming guys, wherever they went, they're going to be back in here, so you got to be careful. So I'm not going to leave until I'm done. Oh, we got Scott. We got a couple more arrows. Oh, no. Almost, maybe it's on the bottom floor. There's usually seeds right here. It's one of those new stupid saves where it's it's invisible and you can't see it. Work. Cut down tree. They need to add some more work to the other people. Like mining and watering plants. And, uh grinding, you know, the, the minerals. That would be so nice. Alright, what goodies we got in here? There's nothing in here today. Gear. Yeah, there's usually a shelf here. See, there's a shelf here, but it's, it's invisible. Well, at least the lockers are here. Ooh, take that. Oh wow, there's all kinds of stuff in here. See, they knew I was coming, so they stocked up. They're gonna do some painting. You know, spruce up the place a little bit. A couple tires that we don't need. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ooh, good machete. Nice. I'll take that. And we got some sodas. Yeah, we'll just drink a soda. You know, might as well celebrate. We'll save these vegetables for later. Because they'll be good eating. There's only a few things you can eat raw. Like if you get broccoli, carrots, apples, and uh, blueberries. You can eat those raw, but don't try to eat no potatoes raw. Of course, you're going to find potatoes from the uh, the infected, so I guess that kind of maybe sort of makes sense. You know, because they're infected and they've got their germs on the potatoes because they've been having them in their pockets for a while. And the bandits are a little cleaner. So... They don't have the infection or food poisoning or whatever. We're just gonna go with go with that. All right, we're gonna pick up whatever little small nonsense is out here. Oh, we can pick up a little piece of coal. Wrap that up and give that to someone for Christmas. Can of beef. There's a bag in here if you ever make it here without all the bags. But it looks like the dev took out the uh, the extra bags. Or at least once you've collected all the bags. I don't think I've seen a bag. Oh, there's a bottle. I think that's about it in here. Oh, there's more components. I'm going to check over here. Make sure there's nothing in these cars. And I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else in here. Those tires are a big one. And, you know, the seeds when they're there, but I'm going to have to come back here later on, you know, load a save and 
see if I eventually find those seeds. But I think we're done with this one. Well, hell, we can go this way home. Oh, wait a minute. That way's home. So these dudes might have... They might have walked out this way. i got to be careful. Make sure I don't run into those dudes. It would suck to actually clear that whole camp and then all of a sudden you're walking away, getting leaving, and you get ambushed. Actually, they probably went off another way. Because I think it's over... Oh yeah, it's over that way, so they probably went out one of the other roads. Alright, we're good. We lucked out, didn't get a miss or anything today either. I mean, if we would have had the mist when we were up there, we would have just, you know, waited it out on one of the towers or, um, you know, on top of a building or something. But the mist guys, you know, the infected, they're pretty good at, at taking out the, uh, the bandits, especially at night. Like, if you can get inside the camp and, uh, you know, wait for the night time to come in. They can pretty much clear out the whole camp. Except the snipers. You'll still usually have to deal with the snipers, but... The bandits are... are fair game for the infected just to... Go ape and just kill everybody. You could do it in the daytime, too. Um, but it's more effective at night, just because there's just... There's so much more, you know, infected running around. It's hard for the bandits to kill them all. Alright, we should have Scott and Kate over here. Alright, y'all. As long as y'all don't make too much noise over here, y'all could stay here. If y'all start making too much noise, you're going to have to go away. All right, we are home. Now look at all these goodies we got. We got quite a bit of nice, healthy food. Um, a lot of blueberries. Oh yeah, let me fill up my uh, my arrows. We end up coming out with an extra arrow. And we're we're. We got over a stack of uh, shotgun shells, too. We're doing good. Got me another machete. We'll put those up there. Another gear. I don't know what we're going to use all these gears for. Alright, let me put some of this crap away. Alright, we had a nice day of... Uh, you know, bandit killing. We got quite a bit of, uh, we can have a little feast tonight. Eat a chicken leg and, you know, eat, eat healthy and eat some broccoli, carrot. We'll save the apple. Maybe eat that tomorrow, but our snack will be, uh, some nice blueberries. I'll probably go ahead and get a uh, really good night's sleep tonight, and then tomorrow we'll we'll take some uh, some dried meat and probably quite a bit of water, and we're gonna head over to uh, uh, probably towards the city. Hopefully, we'll take up enough food with us so we can uh, hit up that bandit camp and check out the city, and then. Probably stay over there a night or whatever, and then come back the next the next couple days. But I think that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all later.